Hey guys, Miss Stacy here, and today we are going to make bread together. So you'll need your moms and dads to help you with the oven part, but you guys get the fun part of doing all the mixing in a bag. So what you need is right here on the table, we're going to need sugar, flour, salt, yeast, moms and dads will be able to help you with that, some melted butter, and some water. So the first thing you're going to do is, of course, wash your hands with soap and water. Lather up really good and rinse away all the germs. Then you can come over and get your bag and be ready to start. So the first thing you're going to do is open your bag and you're going to put one cup of flour into your bag. And then you're going to put your sugar into your bag. Pretty easy, right? This is where you add your yeast, okay? One little packet of yeast is all it takes. And you're going to seal up your bag and you're going to mix, mix, mix your ingredients. Now get it real mixed up. Shake, shake, shake your bags. Then when you're done, you're going to open your bag again and you're going to add that water Ooh, right into your bag. Once your water's in there, you're going to seal up your bag and mix it up some more. Mix, mix, mix. Now you got to get the dry stuff in with the water and get it all gooey looking in your bag. Gooey, gooey. Once you get it all gooey, you're just going to set your bag down. This is where you have to wait your timer and sit and watch your back. This is where you can have a little dance party or go read a book or sing a song, but you're going to wait about 10 minutes. Then come on back and grab your bag of goo that's been sitting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up our bag. Woo! And we're going to add one more cup of our flour. And our butter. And we're going to grab ourselves a pinch of salt. Boop, and drop it in. Then you're going to seal up your bag and mix, mix, mix. Once you get that all good and mixed, you're going to do your last ingredient, which is open your bag and put in your very last cup of flour. Once that's in, seal up your bag again for the last time and mix, mix, mix. All right, now that we've mixed it our very last time, we should reach in there and have a dough ball. On a floured surface. Floured surface means you already have some flour on the surface so it doesn't stick. And to knead it means that you get to put your hands in it. It's kind of like a play-doh at this point. You're going to fold it and squish it and stick your knuckles in it and squish it all around and you're going to do that for about five minutes. So if you want to know how long to knead it for, you're going to sing your ABCs while you do it. So go ahead and start. All right, now that we're done kneading it, we're just going to take our big chunk of bread dough and stick it in our pan. Once we put it in our pan, we're just going to make sure it fills up the little pan there. See, squished it around some more. And then we're going to take a kitchen towel, boop, and we're going to put it right on top of our pan. This is where we have to wait again. Okay, our 30 minutes is up. You know what I did during my 30 minutes? I read a book. Did you read a good book during your 30 minutes? Okay, now that it's done, we're gonna pull off our towel and take our bread and we're gonna have our moms and dads put it in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. 
And there you go. Once the bread is out of the oven, you can put it on your cutting board and slice it up. So we will cut a piece and see, voila, you made bread. <laughs>